Today for Mousetrap Monday, we are gonna catch mice in the barn with one of my all-time favorite style mousetraps. These ingenious mechanical automatic traps are often referred to as drowners. And what makes them so interesting is how the weight of the captured mouse resets the trap for the next victim after the mouse navigates through a series of mechanical obstacles that lead it to a diving board platform that plunges the mouse into a tank of water. Now this style of mouse trap has been exterminating rodents for over 130 years and it was first invented in Germany by a mechanical genius named Carl Bender. Now over the years, several variations on Bender's mousetrap design has been sold in the US, but this is a special example because it's one of the smallest and latest versions manufactured. It's referred to as a better mousetrap for the whole family. We like to think of this as the family mousetrap. It is harmless to your family, yet it's always ready to rid you of the mouse's family. It's safe for little plain hands and daddy's big toe is safe on its way for a midnight snack. And according to my mousetrap collecting book, this was made between 1968 and 1974. And even though these are relatively a recent example of a mousetrap design, they are very rare and valued by collectors in working condition between $300 and $500. Now this one does have some condition issues with rust holes in the tank from holding water for an extended period of time. But the mechanics do appear to be in working order and it should be capable of effectively catching a large number of mice. To set the trap, you pull up the metal door that slides in these wooden grooves. There's a catch right here that keeps the door open and it's connected to a teeter-totter lever. So when the mouse goes inside and steps on the back of that, it lifts the catch and the door comes down. Then the mouse is caught in this wire chamber right here. The only way to escape is to go up this wire tunnel and in the middle is a one-way flap right there, a one-way door. When it pushes that open, it will go to the top, but it can't go back down. Now we'll pull off this tank. You can see the diving board right here, connected with a wire to the door. So as the mouse enters and drops in the tank of water, it lifts up the door and it resets on the catch. It's all ready for the next victim, the next mouse to go inside, step on that teeter-totter, have the door close, and then at the end of the day, you'll have a tank full of mice. Now with all these large rust holes right here, the trap can no longer hold water, but it can still serve as a live catch trap. Before I set it up in the barn with motion cameras, I'm first gonna test it out with our pet mice. Okay, one of our pet mice will show us how this trap works. Go on inside. The door closes. It climbs up the tunnel past that one way door. Now we'll step on that lever and drop in the can and the door will reset. We are ready for the next mouse. Now I'm not gonna let it fall, so we'll go ahead and take this off and put our pet mouse back in the cage. Good job. It's a little uncertain, but I can't go back down that way. Come on out. Let's go set up the motion cameras in the barn and see if it works with the wild mice. Now before I set up our trap in the barn, I'm concerned about these holes. If we catch a mouse, it will chew through the rusty metal and escape and destroy my trap. So I'm gonna remove the original tank and replace it with a clear plastic tub. That way we can see when we catch a mouse. So let's go set up the motion cameras and see what happens.
Well, last night we caught three mice with their modified drowner mousetrap. They wanted the bait, went inside, set off the door, climbed up the chute, dropped off the diving board, and reset the trap for the next mouse. It worked well. Now what we caught are three non-native invasive house mice, so I can't let them go. Instead, I'm going to humanely dispatch them with the CO2, and we're going to feed them to wild animals. Now I'm leaving tomorrow for a hunting trip in central Oregon, so I'm going to bring them with me and drop them off in a completely different environment, a much drier, more desert-like environment. So let's go set up the motion cameras and see what desert animals come along and enjoy a mouse feast. Well, a raven and a coyote in the deserts of central Oregon enjoyed the three mice we caught in this drowner version of a better mouse trap. I love this mouse trap design, especially how the trap mouse resets the door for the next victim. Now, this is one of the rarest and least common versions. There's a much more common version that was made in the U.S. called the Peerless Mouse Trap, made by the Automatic Mouse Trap Company. It's been made since 1896, and it's much more common. You can find these in antique stores or online auctions for between 30 and $100. More if it has the original paper label, but for the most part, those didn't survive. And they also made a much larger version for catching rats. If you wanna see me catch rats with that trap, I'll put a link in the description. Now there are many more common versions of this trap that were made in Europe, especially Germany. It's been in use for over 100 years because it works so well at catching mice. Thank you so much for watching my videos and thanks to all the viewers who have sent me art. I love seeing the pictures. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider clicking the button. I've posted over 600 videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you want to see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.